is up you guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Sarah and I do makeup and for all my lovely little haters out there thank you for giving me my views so today I am finally back after a very very long long while <laughs> um, me and my uh, little one ended up getting very very sick so I had to take a break from uploading my videos but we are now back to hundred percent and it is awesome I feel like 10 times more hyper after I'm done being sick. I don't know what it is, but yeah. But today we are starting off with doing this lovely Wonder Woman makeup. Oh my god, I am so happy with how it turned out, you guys. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, how have you guys been? I know it's been a while. Um, as I said, we got really sick. We got... Hands, foot, and mouth disease, and I would not wish that sickness on my worst enemy, you guys. That was awful. Absolutely awful. But we are now back to 100% and we are living life as we normally do. So, kind of to start off this video off, I started off with using my Meister Prime uh, by Maybelline in the Blur and Smooth. And then I took my uh, Matte Fit Me... A little bit. Fit Me Matte and Poreless Shade 115 in Ivory for my foundation. And then I went in with the Master Concealer from Maybelline and I think Fair. I think that one was the Fair one. Um, this probably is my all-time favorite concealer now. I used to use the Age Rewind Concealer. But something about this one just oonfa. Like, total oonfa for me. Then I went in with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin uh, Powder in the shade 20. Um, this one was a classic ivory one. This one is a very good powder for if you want that kind of darkish skin tone but not too pale. It is. It works fabulously. Then I'm going in with my Morphe Palette 35U as always, and I'm taking this white little, sh uh, this white shimmery color, and I'm just setting that for the base. For this one, I took my Illuminate uh, Beach Goddess Palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, this one's kind of more like a very warm, warm tone palette. And I'm taking this actual bronzing color and I'm putting that in my eyelid. Well, I guess not in my eyelid. It would be pretty much the whole thing, wouldn't it? So yeah, I'm putting that all over my eye. I didn't really want Wonder Woman to be very, very dark. So I did it very natural and almost smooth. And it came out, I absolutely loved how it came out. And then I'm taking the, I cannot for the life of me remember the names of the colors that I used. <laughs> I'll leave them in the description as I always do. And for this one, I'm just putting it in my crease. Um, I'm not really putting it all the way down on my baseline due to the fact that we're going to be using a different color. But I did darken up the crease. And I... Uh, jaw dropping to me. I love how the transition color went from that bronzing color to the dark. Oh my god. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. And then I took this the Morphe palette 35U color and I'm just highlighting my brow line. And then I took that same dark color from the BH Cosmetics palette and I am just darkening up that crease one more time and then I really blend it out. As you can see, you kind of saw a little shoulder there. But hey, that's okay. It's what you get when you have kiddos. And then I took this uh, L'Oreal, oh my god. Whatever that is called. I use this for the shimmer effect because it's very, very pigmented and it, it does have a lot of fallout. Oh my god, you guys, it has a lot. But I use it for the 
like shimmery and goldish factor. I mean, look at that. It is gorgeous. But it does kind of make your eyes burn for some reason. And now for this one, I'm just putting that on the very, very like lightly on the base of my eye to have that very nice transition look from the shimmery yellow to the dark brown. And then I went in there and just to blend those together. And then for this part I took that dark brown again and I'm now I am just darkening up my waterline. Or no, as my lash line is what they would call it. I get those I they're both the same thing to me. Then I took that out and I'm just blending that out too. Oh my god, I have to sneeze. Then I took my L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Liner Nior, 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 whatever it was. And then I took my, um, my mascara and I just kind of created this look. And I didn't put my lash, uh, my lash video in there due to the fact that um, I was completely out of view for it. And same with my eyeliner. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. And for the eyelashes, if you're wondering, they're the Ardell 207 black ones. <gasps> they're my favorite kind ever. And then I took my Wet n Wild contouring palette, and I, it's the one that I cannot pronounce at all. So I don't even try. And for this one, I'm just kind of darkening up my face. And then I went in with my NYX lipstick in the 513 shade. And this one's for my lips. And it has that really nice shiny reddish look, which is kind of what Wonder Woman has. I've seen her with like dark lips, but I like the one where it's very bright. Next I'm going in with my face paint, uh, cream makeup, smudge proof makeup that uh, you can get from any kind of drugstore that carries it. Um, I didn't use the Meron paints, which I normally do. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys that you can create this look using drugstore paint. You don't have to have high professional paints in order to do this. And I absolutely love how it turned out. And then I went in with that shiny gold again. And this part I am working on her headpiece. This part took me a, <laughs> a while, but it worked. But as I said before, you guys do not need high paints in order to do this makeup. It is a very simple makeup and it comes out beautifully no, no matter what kind of makeup you really use. And with this makeup it does kind of, it, it is kind of streaky, but at the same time when I had the finished product I absolutely loved how it turned out. It came out with that old, like old, old comic book look where the lines weren't too fine and too defiant. like. Defiant isn't the right word. I don't know why I said that. But it just came out beautiful. And the star, I kind of made it smaller because I think that if I put it bigger on my forehead, it would accentuate how big my forehead is. <laughs> yes, I have a five head, but hey, it's all right. You just got to learn how to work with it. But as I said, I loved how this makeup turned out with the not straight lines, not like bold lines at all. I absolutely loved it. Is it just gave it that own kind of look, you know? that I talked a lot in this one but as I said before I was very sick and I just have so much to tell you guys it's ridiculous but I can't fit it all into one video <laughs> so yeah but I have three makeups planned for this week oh my god and this one's number one and oh I'm so happy I'm so happy to be back at this you guys oh I missed it so much I think this probably is one of my all-time favorite makeups that I have done so far when it comes to Halloween makeup. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love how it turned out. 
And then I took that white one and gave that my lips that very nice pop art look. Oh, I love it. I love pop art. It is so amazing. All right, you guys, and this is the final look of Wonder Woman. Can we just take a moment and just embrace this? Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Yep. It, I'm sold. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the final look for this. I had so much fun doing this one, and I have so many, so much more stuff planned for this for this week and I'm just so excited and this one will probably go into the black as always kind of no I've only had one video that's done that but it's okay but yes I am so happy with this makeup and I have two more planned for this week um, leave me comments down below if you guys want to see a certain one or whatever and just remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see my upcoming videos and stay tuned for my giveaway that I'm doing as well as leave me a like down below because it really helps me out a lot and you, it just it helps me out a lot but it also helps you guys out a lot those of you who are enjoying my makeups I guess is what you would say but yes all right guys I will see you sometime whenever the next video is posted <laughs> all right bye